It's snowing, it's snowing, it's snowing, it's snowing. This is our fifth stop of the ski season. First time in Utah. And this is our favorite mountain so far. It's a beginner area called Navajo. It's just stunning. <laughs> that was awesome, right? Yeah. Best mountain ever. How was today? Good. Fantastic. So clearly we all love the ski resort, but why? I mean, what sets it apart? Well, it all started even before we got to our campsite in Cedar City. The drive in was nerve wracking coming down the steep pass because of all the snow. But just look at all the beautiful views. At a base of 9,600 feet and going up well into the 11,000s, maybe even 12,000, you're almost guaranteed good snow conditions. And fresh snow makes a big difference, especially when you're a beginner. Learning to ski on ice or fake snow or slush puppy snow, it just sucks. Uh, the next thing we loved was the beginner area. You can easily and safely practice your turns and there are a few more challenging sections that help you progress. But our favorite part was the green run aptly called Paradise. If you're a beginner, you will struggle to find a better run anywhere to practice your turns while also having a few uh, fun sections where you can just get speed and build confidence as well as steeper sections to challenge you and uh, practice your turning and stopping. With so many other runs to choose from, it was easy to cross over to more challenging sections as you progress. And for a beginner, it's always great to have this diversity and more blue sections uh, kind of interspersed with the green so you can build your confidence and skills. Okay, so let's look at the positives. Number one, it's clearly stunning everywhere you look. What were you expecting? It's Utah. The elevation gives you the best chance of getting real snow. There's lots of runs to choose from at every level. There's a dedicated beginner area, so you kind of have the place to yourself. You don't have experts coming down at the speed of light past you. Um, that can be off-putting. There's lots of accommodation to choose from. The town of Cedar City is close by and has all the amenities you could wish for. Uh, we have got a great campsite at the KOA in town, and you can stay there for a couple of weeks. You won't run out of uh, fun things to do in town. The best beginner run, like I said, we have ever seen. And there's good parking with easy access to the slopes. And even though, kind of the last positive, even though there's lots of people uh, skiing, we never felt like it was overcrowded and we, you know, were cramped for space. So now the negatives. If you found any negatives, uh, please put it in the comments, but we certainly didn't find any. So all in all, we give Brian Head Resort a 9.5 out of 10. It was our favorite ski resort during the whole year where we skied uh, 11 states, and we'll be hard-pressed to find anything better. Look, Ben, they're going down. It's a race. Okay, we're doing that next. <laughs>